Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. Today's video is an update video on Honey Miner. Uh, a couple of weeks or over a month ago, or probably a couple months ago, I did a video on Honey Miner. Um, I did get it working on my personal uh, PC that has a NVIDIA uh, graphics card on there. But I was, at the time, um, I was not able to get it working on my mining rig, which consists of six uh, AMD RX 580s. Um, I decided to try to take a look at it again, downloaded their current latest um, version of their software and was able to get it to work on my mining rig. Um, for those who are not familiar with Honey Miner, um, there's their website, honeyminer.com. And basically it's just an easy way to get started in mining. They uh, take the guesswork out of everything. They um, You download their client. You can instantly start mining and what they will do is they will mine whatever coin is most optimized for your hardware and then convert it into Bitcoin. Some of my um, some of my uh, um, gripes with it was um, sort of that there, there's a fee along with it. So if you hear, see over here, um, if you have a. Uh, one GPU, there's 8% fee, and two, G two or more, the fee is 2.5%. And you can't choose what coin you mine. They'll choose it for you and then turn it into Bitcoin. So if, you, if your goal is to get more Bitcoin and don't really want to think about it and think about what is the, what's the best coin to mine today than to sell it for Bitcoin, then I can see um, a service and, and platform like Honey Miner being something that you you'd probably want to do. Anyway, um, that's it in a nutshell, but let's get back to what my mining rig performs at this time. So, with this market, you can see over here uh, in the Honey Miner software um, that it is not a lot of money. Um, the 24 hour potential, it says here, is uh, 42,000 uh, Satoshis. And as you can see, I'm getting. In the last two days that I've been using it, uh, I've been getting here to 29,000 and 27,000. Um, it's, it, it's, I, I don't know if it's just, you know, the network or whatever, but uh, it's not too um, encouraging, to be honest. So if you go here, you can see. Um, it also using this is using the CPU to mine and roughly getting me about two cents a day and then my individual cards are roughly going about 50 52 cents 53 cents a day and there's six of them so um, you know it, it, it it's I probably let it run one more day just to see if I can get a three-day average or I might even let it go for a whole week, but it, it does work, which is good, but it's it's probably not that profitable just to be mining, actually just to be mining in general right now. Um, this $2 does not even pay for the electricity that these, uh, or, or actually where, where I'm at at least, it does not even pay for the electricity that this mining rig uses. So you can see the estimated daily is three three dollars, and what I'm really getting is far from it. It's uh, missing about a third of that dollar. If you go to what to mine here, and you, you can see I have my six five uh, eighties in here. Let's calculate. If I mine the right crypto, yeah, I, I would get. I guess roughly the same, you know. It's um, uh, it's just not a good time. <laughs> so um, I don't know. That's it for this video. Um, if you're interested in Honey Miner, I have a link in the description below. Um, as for me, I'm personally probably going to be turning off my rig at this mo po uh, moment, unless I'm going to do something like speculatively mine a coin. Which I've been doing. Some a coin that I've been mining a lot lately is uh, Plentium, but that thing is not even on exchange. So, so it's just really pure speculation. 
and who knows if it hits it hits if it doesn't it doesn't anyway that's it for this video thank you for watching